Yo, what up, man? Today came in. You see it. <laughs> Yo, Mario Key Station Minute 32. Work as well with iPad. People know I ain't tried it yet. Um, you know, I got a box. Good sure you've seen the box before. Let's have a look. It came with the CD and a USB cord and, you know, and the papers on it and stuff. Just really wanted to do a video to show y'all that it does work with FL Studio because I was looking on YouTube last night and somebody was asking, does it work with FL Studio? Does it work with FL Studio? And that's what I use. And it works well with it. Like, uh, for instance, let me show you, let me show you. Say this button. Sorry, I won't focus. Hold on. All right, yeah. This controls the, um, the scent. You know, that makes it go down, that makes it go up. I don't know what this button do. That controls, you know, the octave and stuff like that. All right. Focus. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, we got that. You know. You know. All right. Watch well, when I press this button. C five. Watch this. You know. Take that button back down. Take that one. C five. Same key. You know, you know that's what it does. You can go low as you want or high as you want. You know, it'll change. You know, focus, focus. Yeah, right, there we go. It'll change that. Take it up a notch. You know, C5 on the keyboard. It'll play C6. Take it down a notch. C5 on the keyboard. Play C4. So that button do. All right. I don't know what these blue buttons do. It'll do something. But I'll tell you this, and the volume doesn't do nothing. Maybe if you order the keyboard and play around with it, you can figure out how to make it work. Alright. Another thing I figured out. When you first hook this keyboard up, like I just tried to make a beat earlier. Focus. I tried to make a beat earlier. You know. You know, the velocity, it had a velocity, you know, the velocity thing on the keyboard. The softer you press it, the lighter the kick gonna be, the harder you press it, the harder the kick gonna be. But, when I was trying to record my piano roll for the kick, it had all the, all the kicks, you know, unlevel, like, oh, well, all right, let me give you a demonstration, hold on. I'd rather really you look. All right, see, right now, I got it turned off. Okay, let me play, you know. See how all of them level. Same thing. Alright. But it's the way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way you turn it off just in case you ever get this keyboard. You know, key station, key station. Yeah, it might be a little blear. Hold on. Sorry for the shakiness. This is how you turn it off. I'm going to show you for a minute. Let me turn it on. Velocity release. Okay. Now watch this. You know. The soft I press. Just watch. This is going soft. Here go hard. Alright. Perfect example. Perfect example. See that? See how the first ones, how the first ones low, and the hard I press it, the loud they got. Uh, I don't think anybody will like that in FL Studio. Maybe for playing the piano or something. But this is how you turn it off. You know, go to, go to options. Hold on. Stupid iPhone. Go to options. MIDI settings. Oh, crap. MIDI settings. You know, you have it synchronized, whatever. You go down to right here. Velocity. None. Release. None. Now watch it now. Let me show you. Alright. C5. 
see? I'll leave. But anyway, anyway, screw that. Like I said, I got this keyboard off eBay. I didn't pay nothing but like $59. And, you know, it came in a few days. Mine came from Atlanta. So, you know, it got here kind of quick. So, you know, yeah, that's it. As soon as you plug it up, you don't need no CD. You don't need none of that bull crap like the old technology used to back in the day. So, here it is. That's what it's called, you know. Work out perfect. Work out perfect. Easy to take anywhere, you know. Anywhere. It's real, real small. And it's real, real light. So, anyway, yeah. All right. Yeah, that should answer everybody's question. All right, have a good day.